What kind of tile can you put on the wall or shower? Do you have to seal tile? How much extra tile should I buy for my project? What thin set is the best for my tile application? How hard is it to maintain natural stone? You have questions, we have answers. Welcome to the Belk Tile Podcast. How to style the bathroom, the backyard, the kitchen. How to improve your home style with tiles to make your home absolutely beautiful. Welcome to the Belk Tile Podcast. Here's your host, Mike Belk. Welcome to episode 5 of Tile Talk. Topic of discussion today, is there a proper place to end kitchen backsplash tiles? So the question is, you know, where do you start and stop? You know, there's a lot of things to take in consideration with this. Uh, This is a question that uh, we seem to be getting every day uh, in the showroom and online as well. Uh, Is there a proper stopping point? You know, there's so many factors that go into this, uh, it really really does different from job to job. The biggest thing that you got to look at is uh, your switch plates or your outlet placements. Uh, You know, a lot of times some of these guys don't think about when they start doing these outlets uh, of where it's going to fall. Or again, the cabinet guys don't uh, extend the cabinets out far enough or cut it three inches short. You know, so that's your biggest factor on determining where you're going to stop your kitchen backsplash tile at. Obviously, you don't want to stop a backsplash in the middle of a of an outlet or a switch because obviously the plate's not going to sit properly. So do you extend it out past it or do you stop short of it? Which one's going to look good? Which one's going to look bad? You know, if you're doing a whole remodel where you maybe you're keeping the cabinets and replacing the countertops, you can always make that countertop a little longer. That way when you extend it out, uh, you can see, you know, a, a definitive stop on that. You know, a lot of times the most common factor is to just line it up with your top wall cabinet down to the countertop, and that's going to be your imaginary line of where you want to stop. But obviously it doesn't work out that way. Uh, If you take a look at our website, we did a blog post on this uh, back in January of 2019 where we showed a couple examples of pictures that we did uh, where we had to extend it out a little bit. It doesn't look odd. Uh, I think uh, when you look at the grand scheme of things, you can see that it... uh, it does help incorporate it and to give it a nice stopping point on those outside of the outlets. One of the pictures actually has it where there's two outlets side by side, so you would have had to stop well in between them or well before them. Uh, so like I said, it, it really just determines uh, you know what's going to happen as far as your stopping point for that. Uh, there's not really, a like I said, a right or a wrong way, but it's definitely something to take into consideration. Of course, we're always here to help. Any questions you guys have, please let us know. Uh, you can give us a call, stop in the showroom, send us an email, whatever is the easiest for you. We hope everybody's staying safe, and we'll talk to you soon. You've been listening to the Belt Tile Podcast. When it comes to creating a beautiful home using tile, this is the podcast for products, design ideas, and tips. We hope you got some useful, practical information from this show. And we'll be back soon. But in the meantime, reach out. The website is www.belktile.com. Our store phone number is 614-543-8334. Find us on Facebook and Twitter at Belk Tile and on Instagram at Belk Tiles. Make sure to leave a rating and review. And if you have questions or comments, reach out. And we'll talk about it on the next show. Till next time.